One question we get asked time and again is who owns Markenfield Hall? The short answer is Lady Deirdre, who lives here with her husband, Ian Curtis. The Markenfield family haven't lived at the hall since 1569, when it was confiscated for high treason. That's a whole other story, but that one could take longer than three minutes. There is, however, still a Mark and Field connection. Meet Richard Norton of Norton Conyers, just the other side of Ripon. In 1447, Eleanor Conyers of Norton Conyers married Thomas Mark and Field. That is the first record of a Norton marrying a Mark and Field, but it isn't the last. Meet Fletcher Norton. In 1761, he bought Markenfield Hall for £9,400. He could trace his ancestry back to our friend Richard Norton, who we saw in the chapel just now. Fletcher tried, but failed, to buy back his ancestral home, Norton Conyers. Instead, he bought the second best thing, which was Markenfield Hall. Fletcher was a barrister. He was elected to the Houses of Parliament and eventually he became Speaker of the House of Commons. He was raised to the peerage in 1782 and chose the title Baron Grantley of Markenfield, a title that the family still holds to this day. <music> ah yes, didn't I mention? Fletcher Norton also built Grantley Hall. Okay, Lady Deirdre is married to Ian Curtis. Her late husband was the seventh Lord Grantley. Their son is the eighth Lord Grantley, or Baron Grantley of Markenfield, to give him his full title. <laughs> 